Greetings to everyone who's listening to me and watching me right now. Some of you are doing the listening and the watching, and some of you are just listening to me. My brothers and sisters, I have a word for you, a word to bless you, a word to jumpstart your day. Brothers and sisters, I encourage everyone to always meditate on the word of God because in the word of God, you will know exactly who you are. In Christ Jesus is when you know, is when you realize who you are. Forget about what people have said about you. Forget about the narrative around your situation. Some of you, there are things about you that are mysterious, that need answers. There are things that happen to you that you cannot understand, you cannot comprehend. You don't know why you are facing an attack. You don't know why people are hating on you. You don't know why people have rejected you. There is a reason towards it. There's a spiritual reason towards it. There's a reason towards that warfare. Ask yourself, why is it you? Why is it you that is going through intensified warfare? Why is it you that is going through lack? While well, the heathens are being blessed. That means there's something in you that the enemy wants to frustrate. Brothers and sisters, I encourage you to leave your comments in the comment section. I mean, what I'm trying to say to comment and share this word. If you want to join this community, you can do so. Uh, the join button is right next to the subscribe button. And also, if you want to send me your prayer request, uh, speak to me. You can do so through my uh, email address, my Facebook page, my Instagram. And you can find all those in the about section of this channel. My brothers and sisters, today's powerful word is they regret hurting you. They regret hurting you. Had they known who you are, some of the people that came up against you, they wouldn't have come up against you. Had they studied you first, had they understood the nature, your nature, they wouldn't. A lot of people that attack you are attacking ignorance. Bible says it clear. That my people perish because of lack of what? Knowledge. There are some who attack you without knowing. Without knowing. Now they regret. They didn't know that you, 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 you are an anointed woman and man of God. They didn't know that by touching you, it would affect them. Bible says it this way. Touch not my anointed and do no harm to my prophets. Some of them have touched you. They have caused harm to you. And it has backfired. My brothers and sisters, you may think that your enemies get, are getting away with their, with, with their evil. With their hatred towards you. No, they're not getting away. It may seem as though your enemies are prospering. But behind the scenes, you don't know what they are going through. Behind the scenes, they are regretting. That is why they cannot even fully fire you from job. Because they know that the moment they lay you off, the moment they fire you from your workplace, they are going to be in a huge loss. You are valuable. Even when they, told, they tell you that you are nothing, you are valuable to them. You are. You are valuable to them. I was reading a scripture about uh, Laban and Jacob. You know, Jacob worked for Laban for many years. And Jacob reached a point and said, please let me go. Laban could not let Jacob go for one reason. Laban said, I have learned by experience that the Lord has blessed me because of you. Other translations would go and break it down and say that Laban said, I have learned by divination, through divination, that the Lord has blessed me because of you. 
they are people that have learned by divination. They are witches that have learned through divination. That they have been blessed because of you. Some of you, those that you work with, have learned it by experience that you are the blessing. That the blessing is in you. You are the blessing. So they can't let go of you. Look at the children of Israel, the story of the children of Israel with, uh, with Pharaoh. Why do you think Pharaoh could not let go of the children of Israel? It was, hard. of course, he let, he let them go. But if you read the scripture at the end, but it was hard. It required convincing to an extent that uh, a lot of calamities were sent to the land of Egypt. But Pharaoh was seated. It was uncomfortable, but was seated. But reached the moment where he let them go. The reason as to why he did not let them go, because he benefited from the children of Israel. The children of God were very hard working. Very hard working. And they were blessed. The land of Egypt was blessed because of the children of Israel. So even when he let them go, he pursued them. <laughs> he pursued them. He realized that he had lost something precious. Something irreplaceable. There are people that will realize that they have lost something irreplaceable. And they will regret. They will regret hurting you. They will regret abusing you. They will regret calling you all funny names. The story is told about Penin and Hannah. Where Penina would mock Hannah. Penina thought that she was uh, all that it is. She thought that she had made it in life. She started mocking Hannah over the situation. Remember, Hannah was a barren lady. But when Hannah gave birth to a baby boy, we have never heard of Penina's children. Never. Never, never, never. It was all Hannah's child. And Hannah's child, Samuel, was a prophet of nation, the nation of Israel. He was a prophet that anointed kings. He was a man that the Bible says that none of his words fell to the ground. My brothers and sisters, I hope this word has blessed you. I hope it has encouraged you. Remember to keep praying. Pray at all times. Brothers and sisters, until next time, shalom.